education every day. Escaping from school? No way. Okay, so I said I'd be going on strike and I pretty much am. But I'll still be doing educational videos that you guys request. So if you request any other sort of educational videos, just leave a comment and I'll do it. But for now, there'll be no normal videos. Let's look at the difference between amphiprotic and amphiprotic. Now firstly, amphiprotic is something that can both accept and donate a proton. Okay? And amphoteric is something that can act as both an acid and a base. Now, amphiprotic, which is can accept and donate protons, that uses Bronston Lowry's theory of an acid and a base. So, according to Bronston Lowry's theory, an acid is something that can donate a proton and a base is something that can accept a proton. So, how are we going to remember that amphiprotic is accept and donate proton? Well, one way to do this is to look at amphiprotic. Amphiprotic, practically like amphiproton. So that's the one that relates to protons, accepts and donates protons, right? The other way to look at it is amphiprotic. That, that's like amphibrotic, right? Amphibrotic. And who's your best bro on the universe? It's Bronston and Lowry. They're your best bros. And that's how you're going to remember it. So, amphiprotic is accepts and donates protons. And then amphoteric is just that other one that's like can act as both acid and base. And that only really matters when you look at Lewis, de Lewis's definition of an acid or a base. So, basically... All amphiprotic things are amphoteric, but not all amphoteric things are amphiprotic.